You can use pattern layers with pattern layers. I'm just going to use a diamond shape, but it could be an image, it could be anything. So I'm just going to go over here to a diamond tool, create a quick vector design, need to convert that into a pixel layer before I can turn it into a pattern layer. So layer and rasterize. So now I've got a pixel layer. Go up to layer and new pattern layer from selection. So that turns it into a pattern layer. And you can resize the pattern, move it around like that. I'm just going to remove the earlier design. So I've just got the pattern layer left. What I can now do, I can duplicate that design. So layer and duplicate. And I can resize that independent. You can see that there. However, what you can also do is I can drag one into the other. So simply I can just go to this pattern at the top and just drag down. And you see as you drag, you get this blue line appear. Now that's a parent-child relationship. And you can resize it. You see as you do that, you can see the, you see the diamond shape is inside the diamond layer. And of course you can still modify the others. You can just still, still resize that and move it around. If you go over here to the move tool, select that, you'll notice there's an option here, lock children. So lock children is set on. So as that, as you do that, you see as you resize, the children, or child I should say, is not moving. That is not moving. The underlying diamonds are not moving. However, if I go up here and deselect that, and now do it, see what happens, it does move. They all move together, which is fine if that's what you want. So you can create all kinds of different diamond designs like that. Also, if you decide, you know what, I don't want red. Don't want red, I want something else. Well, not so easy to change other than just go to, and there might be other ways of doing this, but I'm just gonna go with effects just down the bottom, and you can go up to here, color overlay. Just set the color. And also you can always go through, Blending modes, run through those and get a variety of different designs there, depending if you've got like gradients involved, etc. Click close. So you can again move that around. And of course, what you can do, you can always duplicate that design as well. So if you want to, layer and duplicate. And then of course, you can move that there. So you can see you can get a nice diamond design, which is obviously a nice uniform design. But however, of course, you can modify them separately. Again, Go there, you can resize this one so that one gets bigger. So you can create a more sort of unusual diamond design like that. Whole variety of different designs again. Go over there, you go to this one, and you've got lock children, select that, and you can resize and so on and so on. So you can see you can create a variety of different designs. Now it doesn't have to be diamonds, of course. Just go here, got another one. This is just a nice circle shape, exactly the same. What you can do, go to layer. And again, down to rasterize, so make sure it's a pixel, not the lips. Once you've done that, you can then go to a layer and new pattern layer from selection. Now, see, always ends up with the old one. I can, all, I like to move that because otherwise I start working with that one by accident. And you can just resize that. Again, what you can do, of course, what you can also do, you can just go down here to effects, just say set that on, color overlay if you want now, maybe bevel emboss. Maybe go for a gradient instead. So you've got gradient there. Click there and change gradient. Maybe add some stops. Create a variety of different color designs. Close. Resize this design. But also what you can do, you can duplicate it. So go to layer and duplicate. So again, you've got two copies there and you can see move that around. But you also, you can just drag it down again. And again, make certain you just get that blue line in between that image and the word pattern. And you've got your design there. And you can see, resize that. And again, rotate it, shear it, variety of different, so you can do like that as well. Create a whole variety of different designs. It's all still live, so you can still modify it. But again, what you can do, go over here to the, over here to the move tool, make sure you select that one, lock children, you can lock that one, and you can see, resize it, create a variety of designs like that as well. So a whole load of different pattern designs. Now, unfortunately, what you can't do is you can't make a pattern within a pattern within a pattern within a pattern kind of thing. It doesn't seem to work. It would be nice if it did, but it just seems to be just limited to just a pattern-child relationship, not grandchildren and great-grandchildren, which would be nice. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. A dislike or like, always appreciated. Thank you much.